Oh my goodness. Good morning everyone. Wow. It's another day. I've had a terrible night's sleep. Running on about four hours. Normal and that's normally that's okay, but not when you're recovering from an illness. So let's get straight into it. We've got CP scene to record the voiceover for, then we can get editing. Then I've got a few meetings that I have to go to this evening. One this afternoon as well. I'm exhausted already just thinking about it. My goodness, let's just get on with it. Got a lot to do. First of all, edit yesterday's vlog because I didn't do it last night. As I said, we just went to bed because oh my goodness, I was worn out. So let's get that done and then we'll get on. Here at uh, West Alton again. I'm going to have a meeting at the uh, hub today because I'm uh, meeting with people from Halfland Radio, which is the uh, local radio station for West Alton, which is uh, cool. Halfland being the uh, term for people from West Alton. And uh, talking about uh, potentially uh, having a show on that radio station. Well, I talked to them about different ideas for a pitch, different uh, types of show. We'll see how it goes. They may like it, they may not. But uh, you don't ask, don't get. That's how it is. So that'll be fun. It's a volunteer thing, of course. It's uh, not a paid thing, it's a voluntary thing. So it should be interesting. I used to have a show with Jen. Uh, it was her main sh mainly her show, but uh, I joined in uh, on uh, CPR, Trolley uh, Preston Hospital Radio. It was a joint thing. That was a lot of fun. Saturday morning, so <laughs> oh my goodness, we had to get up early just to get there, but a lot of fun and uh, I want to get back into that. So let's do that. Let's go and talk to them. Right guys, uh, that went very, very well and uh, got a lot more casework to do, so we've got to head back to the town hall now. But uh, I think that went very well, very productive, very good radio by the way if you haven't uh, ever listened to it it's a good community show i'll put a link in the description bar it's well worth uh, giving a tune into so i think that went well anyway and i'm um, looking forward to helping out where i can and uh, i think they liked uh, one of the show ideas so I'm happy with that uh, oh, it's a nice hot day i shouldn't have put my coat on but let's go and grab something to eat from uh, the middle of town and then head back to uh do more work, basically. Oh my goodness, the uh, fact that I didn't get much sleep last night is really starting to hit home. I am uh, kind of falling off my words. Let's get going. Okay guys, that's really all I've got time for, except I put out the video yesterday, well, by the time you see this, because I won't be editing tonight, I'll be editing it tomorrow morning, that it will be the day before, of drawing O Fox, the new little character for All Mask Media. And uh, a few people have said, uh, that's really cute, he's really nice, I like it, but how are you drawing that and designing that on a computer? So I want to talk you through that. What I use is a combination of tools. I use a graphics tablet and I use Photoshop. Photoshop has uh, the ability to change the type of pen that you use on screen, which is basically how many pixels are drawn in when you move your mouse or your keyboard or <laughs> Photoshop on a keyboard. You might be able to, I'm not entirely sure, or your graphics tablet, which is what I use and you can redefine the shape of those uh, pens as well, which is great. So I've got this one that I bought, which is, uh, it replicates the look of a pencil. And that's what I use for sketching. So it looks uh, visually different to the inking tool, which is designed to look like a brush. So I've got these tools and the end result of using these in combination is that it appears like I'm drawing on a piece of paper. That's how it feels. That's how it looks when you're drawing it brilliant. That's how I do it. Basically, get a graphic. If you're interested in drawing on a computer, get a graphics tablet. You can get them fairly cheap. The, the Wacom Bamboo is a very small portable graphics tablet. It's about A5 size. Perfect for drawing on a computer or on the move, especially if you're using a laptop. I use a much larger tablet myself, I have to admit. I have the uh, Intuos 4. The Intuos 5 is out now, so you should be able to pick up a 
and into us for on eBay and second-hand markets for relatively cheap these days, so that's always an option. Uh, you don't have to have the cutting-edge stuff. I, I personally bought this when the Intuos 4 was the main thing. I don't like the Intuos 5 though because it doesn't feel the same, it doesn't have the same sort of look and feel, so it's not for me, but uh, it works and a lot of people say very good things about it. And also, if you really, really want to go top-notch, you can get a Cintiq. I recommend you don't get one as a starting thing because they're expensive, but they do work very well and I know a lot of artists who swear by it. But I like the Intuos. It's uh, just a flat piece on the table, you draw and then you watch the screen and everything comes up on the screen. Take a little bit of getting used to, I have to admit, because you're not looking at the pen while you draw, which is different to how you would on paper. But the end result is pretty much the same. So that's what I use. I recommend it. It's very good. It is quite expensive, but there are cheaper options, like I say. You can get the bamboo. You can get a different manufacturer's graphics tablet. I've only tried Wacom and one other, and I prefer the Wacom, but you may be different. And of course, Photoshop isn't the only graphics package out there. There are others, but that's what I use, and that's how I do it. And the end result is that it feels like I'm drawing on paper, but it goes straight out on the computer, and I can do all kinds of things with it. So that's how I do it. Hope that's answered your question. See you tomorrow. Bye.